This week is all about tomatoes. We're going to take it from planting on a frosty February morning right through to harvest. We're going to be planting a few varieties over the next few weeks, but today we're focusing on my favourite, sun gold. And before we can get them into the greenhouse, Mick is going to run me through the basics of good seed sowing. So the key with starting these off, right, is just overfilling the tray. Okay. So if you want to get stuck in there, Karen. Yeah, to the other um, side. Completely overfill, right, like we've got twice as much as we need, basically. Kind of work it into all the corners. And then what I generally do is give it a, give it a bang on the table like that. To settle it down. You can see how oh, far yeah, it settles crikey. down in there. So that means you don't have any big air pockets in there, which is a little tiny tomato seed fall down in between it. And gone. And it's not going to germinate, no yeah? Okay. So we've got that done. This is my most valued piece of equipment in the garden, a little bit of, a bit of a stick, right? And what we use that for is just to, to sort of saw off the excess. the excess like that, and you get a nice kind of flat surface across the top then, yeah? Okay. So that's ready to go. Good, good, good. What we do is we make a little indentation in each of the modules with your fingers. We all have this little groove in our, in our hands here. Yeah. Yeah, and then what I do is I use that to sort of oh, cool. get them all in a row. And there we go. So we just drop it off the edge. Just one per per module. One absolutely. per module. Right now, this is the this is the little trick. So because we've we've done them down into the indentation, what we do is just come along, overfill it again, and then use our little our little stick to kind of chop it off the second time. Don't forget to keep your tray moist and in a warm, sunny spot. With a bit of luck, you should see the seeds germinate in about ten days. It's seven weeks later. And while we've seen lots of change with our tomatoes, the weather outside hasn't changed at all. Okay, what have we got you, here? You look really cold. Oh, I'm freezing. Hurry up. So we've got our tomato plants that are that we sowed back in February. And yep. they're looking in pretty good nick. With tomato plants, I, is you're often kind of just moving them on into bigger pots to kind of hold them there for another couple of weeks and grow on, right? So Is this so that we're really protective and mindful of the roots? And the stem? Yeah, well, okay. the tomato plants themselves, the seedlings are very tender. So if you plant them out too early into, the t into a polytunnel or a greenhouse or a glass house, uh, they're just going to die off. Oh, yeah, okay. No, so we so we what we're going to do, yeah, we don't want that. So what we're going to do is just plant them into the pots, leave them in the pots for another four to six weeks to grow on, and then they'll be then big and hardy, ready to go out into the, into the ground, yeah? Okay, so again, just as deep as the plug that's yeah, there? Yeah, so just... Exactly that, and, and then just firm it in. It's a really simple thing. With tomatoes, you don't need to be worried about sowing them or planting them too deep because the roots will actually form along this stem here, wherever it's underneath the soil, basically. Okay. And so we give them a little water when we're finished, and then they'll be, we'll be keeping them inside nice and toasty for another four to six weeks. Perfect. Can we go inside and get I nice think and we toasty? It's planting day and I've had lots of time to get the grow cookie greenhouse ready for its first lot of plants. Oh, whew, toasty. It's nice and warm in here, isn't it? Oh, it's lovely. And that's the thing about growing, growing any of these tomatoes, peppers, aubergines and stuff. They need this heat, like Mediterranean climate. So that's what this glass house is all about, creating a little kind of microclimate of Sardinia right here. <laughs> oh, I wish. But really important with tomato plants that you get them good and deep. Okay. So they go like deep roots down to that kind of a depth. When the plant is kind of laden down with fruit, they tend to fall over and get too heavy and stuff. So this is an ideal thing. It's just a simple garden twine hanging down and we've got a, a bit of wire going across from side to side that, that this is attached to them, yeah? And we're doing three things at once. We're planting the plant, we're putting the support in place, and then we're going to use this pot for watering into it. Make the hole wide enough so that we can also get get our pot in here. Okay, okay. so make the make the one hole for the for the pot and the plant. Exactly. Okay. So we, I use the use the pot to kind of hold down the twine like that, and then we get our plant and we put that in. I'm gonna firm this in. It's probably a two-person job, actually. Intent. <laughs> <laughs> Help, please, please, Karen. Yeah. Give it a good lean on it, yeah. You want to, to get it really nice and tight, so you can see the way then. The wire is 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 going there, going to grow up, and it'll we'll be able to attach it to that, and then our watering is going to be into this into this pot. So we need to be about 50 centimeters apart, so a little bit further over. We're going to be taking hopefully tomatoes out of this plant from July until possibly even as late as November. Okay, good. Labels so, in. Deadly. Labels in. Do we need to water these now? 
So they will need about 10 litres of water a week each. Wow, okay, that's a um, lot of watering. But we've created a great, a really good way of watering them here as opposed to spraying the plant. Fill that up with water and you, you're getting water right down to the roots, which is great. So this is fantastic, but I am going to give another variety a go. They're called Tumbling Toms yeah. and you can grow them in hanging baskets. I'm all about being able to grow in containers because we don't all have space for this. Instead of them growing up like a vine tomato, they're going to tumble beautifully out over their hanging baskets. So this little plant will produce 250 little little cherry tomatoes. So it's really it's prolific. Because like it's easier. As long as it's healthy. You're not allowed to do that. <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> so just you don't need to fill it right up to the top. Oh, okay, you can have that one then. Potting compost is what you need, something that's got a bit of food in it, particularly tomatoes, really hungry, really thirsty plant. So you can see lovely, lovely root system on this. So these are really healthy little plants. Nice. And also don't like just pull it out of the pot, just yeah, ease it out. Ease, ease it, it out, out of the pot. Thing to watch with, with any, anything growing in, in a container, but particularly tomatoes, as I said, they're going to need lots of water. Once they start producing fruit, you're going to need to feed them with a tomato feed every couple of weeks as well. So you get the most out of it. They're going to get lots of lovely sunshine here. Need to keep an eye on them to make sure that they stay uh, nice and hydrated. And in a matter of weeks, we'll have lovely tumbling toms cascading down over the basket, ready to harvest. It's been 24 weeks since we planted those tiny seeds. And today we get to harvest. Look, isn't that just glorious? They look so good. And it's just the beginning. If we're lucky and if we if we mine these plants, they'll be still harvesting by the end of October into oh, November. Oh, really? Yeah. What we're doing is harvesting the, the really red ones. They're obviously ripe. And then the, the green ones that you can see here are being left to, to ripen. We can see the still side shoots here that need to be dealt with as well, which so you need to keep the kind of keep the plant clean as you're going. And let's not forget my tumbling toms, which have produced their first tomatoes. This is the joy of it, getting these beautiful oh, things. smell is just Never amazing. ever refrigerate them either. That's the other thing. You do not refrigerate tomatoes. You want to taste them when they're nice and room temperature and you get the full, the full effect of the flavour. Yep. 